so hello guys this is going to be a quick tutorial i promised in my previous video that i would do a video on how to make your design pop using adobe lightroom on your mobile phone so it's going to be a quick one so just download adobe lightroom to your mobile phone then you know when you open it follow the prompts so and import your design here so once you have imported your design you'll see something like this so the first um button here which is presets if you are opening your lightroom for the first time you might not have anything here other than what lightroom is giving you so we have something like recommended so which the ai will analyze your flyer or your image and give you some kind of presets if you are online but i already off my data so it's not going to give me anything here if you go to premium here you see other presets here that you can select from but in this case because i said it's going to be you can explore this yourself because i said it's going to be a quick tutorial so if you go to this your tab you see your presets here probably you've been editing with adobe lightroom and you have been saving as presets you are going to see your presets here so but then we want to start afresh because this is our first time using adobe lightroom on our mobile phone right so the first thing you want to do is to click on that preset again so that you have the other tab like this so then you navigate to edit here so when you get to edit the first thing i usually do most of the time is to start off with this auto when i click on this auto it will analyze it then give me some prescription some ideas on how to go about my design so if you click and hold you see the before if you leave it you see the after can you see even the auto has done you know most of the job can you see this is after this is before it's kind of flat but this is after so it's getting to you know make sense so now the next thing you want to do after you flip the auto is to go to this light you no know, icon click on the light icon then you see what the auto feature has done you no know, it has reduced the exposure increased the contrast highlights and everything like that but if you are not okay with what the auto has done for you actually i usually use the auto just to you know be just to lay a foundation for me to you know start building on so then i can check what the auto has done if it's okay by me i can just leave it and go to other thing maybe like color but then if i want to make some tweak i can just look at it okay i think contrast is fine so for the highlights i can just you know bring it like this you no know, just be looking at your design can you see if you want to make it bright you know where to go if you want to make it darker you know where to go but let me leave it here at 83 i think 83 is fine you can still click and hold to see the before and the after so for the shadow i want to increase the shadow a bit i don't want it to be too black so i think plus 52 is fine for me like this so for the white let me see so you can take it to the back and see what you are doing and you can you know slide it to the front and see how it looks so i'm going to leave it at uh plus 53 here then the black i think the black is okay or probably that's just you know reduce it like this so okay let me leave it like this so you can click and see before after before after so the next thing you want to do after this one if you want to try the curve you can try the curve but i'm not trying the curve you click on the curve you see something like this where you can you know bring it down like this you no know, this is the highlight this is the shadow and you see and this is the mid-tone so you can edit it the way you want it and see before you can see before and after once you are done with it but i'm not going to toggle with the uh, curve so i double tap i double tap i mean i double clicked and it released it so i'll just click done 
because I don't want to tamper with the curve. So if you want to use the curve, I think I've shown you how to, you know, go about the curve. When you click on the curve, this is the overall RGB. So if you want to control the red, you can click on the red and, you know, you know, control the red from here. If you double tap, it goes back to the previous one. You can go to the green, try something else. Double tap if you don't want it. You can go to the blue and do the same thing, but I don't want it. So I just click done after I've reset everything. So if you still click um, before and after, you see what you've done before. So if you go to color, you know, the auto feature that we clicked at first initially has also corrected something like this here the vibrance here it has given the vibrance 12 which is okay by me and decrease the saturation by 2 which is actually okay by me but if you want to change the temp temperature you know decrease or increase it you still have to do it like that if you want to depends on your design but on this design and my preferences i'm going to leave it as zero so you bring it to zero so if you want to tint it you can tint it like this depending on what you want but i'm not tinting it so i'm going to leave it at zero also so the next uh, tab you want to go is the effects tab so click on the effect tab you see something like this this is where the magic really happens because if you look at let me click on this so you look at the design the image the model it's kind of flat no texture and that kind of thing so let me click again and you see so now the auto didn't touch the effect panel so we have to do it ourselves so for the texture i want to start with the texture so for the texture i'll you know if you click and hold and you slide you see what you are doing click on it to see the difference can you see the difference if you see it before can you see it's kind of flat and after you no know, it's starting to make sense right so the clarity to you can increase the clarity like this so just looking at what you are doing the way you are sliding down can you see slide up can you see but it shouldn't be too much so I'm going to leave it at maybe something around 68 or 67. Let me give it 68. State is fine so i want to deaze it so you can check all of these slides eh? you can check you, you don't have to copy my you no know, value or what i'm doing so it depends on your flight so you can move back move front to see what you are doing if you feel like you like your design like this you can drop it like this but i'm going to just give it something like this so so i can just give it something like this which i feel it's cool by me so if you click on it you see the before you see the after can you see the difference so it's already making sense it's already making sense so the last thing you want to do you know is to go to no this is not the last thing actually second to the last thing to do go to vignette here so just reduce the vignette a bit so you, uh, you can also slide in and slide up like this to see what vignette does so but then i just want to give it something like minus five so just to see the extra effect it's added to it so then the green i don't want to go over but so what i'll just do if you increase it to 100 you see something you've added it has noise that kind of noise if you feel it's okay at 100 you leave it if it's not you decrease it so what i'll just do i'll just leave it at somewhere around 46 so if you click on it you have something like this can you see it's kind of making sense now so click on it again then the last thing you want to do is go to detail so if you go to detail this is sharpening so you can increase the sharpening like this you can increase it all the way to 150 if it's okay with your design cool if it's not you decrease it so i'll just leave my own at somewhere around maybe somewhere around 103 let's see how it looks so i think it's looking much more alive so if you click a note you see the before it's kind of flat and you know basic but with this it's kind of looking more pop and professional so you can also you know go to noise 
just go buy on the on your mobile phone, even on the go, even in the car and everywhere. You can just you know talk with your design and play with the slides and everything like that. So they have other features though, but those other features are what are premium. So if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. But other things that they are giving us for free can actually work for us to make our design pop. Look at the difference. So this is after and this is before we edited it. So and this is after we edited it. It's kind of you no know, pop, which is better and good for us. So the next thing I want to do is I want to save as image and also save as preset. But first of all, I want to save as preset before I export as image. So where you want to go is this these three dots. So these three dots is more options. So click on it, then click on something like create presets. Click on it, then you can name your presets. You can write something like pop. design right so pop design and say done so it asks you where you want to drop your this thing so you can create a new preset group here you can see something like my presets sorry <laughs> i didn't connect my keyboard so i just wanted to make this a quick tutorial so it's so messy space yeah not present my presets so then you can click done so you have something like this then you click okay so it's going to save so you can save you can see all is adding to your presets all these things you've talked about with them so the color the light the detail if you are talking with the geometry you'll have seen it here you are talking with masking you'll have seen it there also so now it has all of this then you can click ok so the next time you want to you know work on an image and you feel the preset can work for it or you can start off with the presets so you can go to this four tab here and go to my presets so you see the preset here so once you import the image next time you can just click pop design and it to you know apply to it so if it's okay by you you can just export like that but if it's not okay by you then you can start going to edit and everything like that it's just it's the preset just work like the auto but then you have you no know, worked on the sharpening the detail and that kind of thing so you just go to the presets you know go to the presets and click on on your presets then click on pop design and if you have other ones here you see them here so the next thing you want to do is to export as image so that's the easiest part so just go to this guy here share then you can see share button here or export as so you see export as here then you can export as either jpeg jpg dng original and that kind of thing but i'll just export as jpg so the dimension largest available dimension just to save as high quality you can see the quality and that kind of thing if you want to include watermark you can customize your watermark here you can write whatever it is you want to write here so go back but i'm not adding the watermark so i'll just click ok then you see my design exporting i mean my image exporting so you just have to wait for it to export so then the copy has been saved to you. so you can view in gallery or you can locate it in your file manager so don't forget to like share and subscribe and also turn on the notification to be notified whenever i upload new videos so as i always say keep nurturing your creativity and let's continue this artistic journey together until next time Stay creative.